Let's let go of this. Let's accept it. And she argues with me. She puts her hands up like this and she sticks her tongue out at me. She says no. Because if we accept it, we're going to feel even worse. And she doesn't want to allow me to accept it. And I literally had a battle, an ongoing argument within my brain. Me and my 12 year old self argued for 20 minutes until I finally got her to understand if the world is heavy, then I'll carry it with you. It's okay if everything is heavy. It's okay if it's pain. It's okay if it's, it's, it's terrible, but you are valid. You want to be a sassy fucking teenager? My therapist, I told my therapist, I said, she's arguing with me. My therapist said, well, she's a teenager. Of course she's arguing with you. And I started laughing. And I started hysterically laughing. And she's like, why are you laughing? And I was like, because this teenager version of me is laughing at the fact that we're arguing. This teenager version is starting to laugh because we're fighting this, this emotion. And then I said, she said, well, what does the teenager look to you? And I said, she looks like a younger version of me showing bubble gum and making bracelets. And she said, well, what does she need? And I said, you know what she needs? She needs love. And she needs understanding and she needs to know that she can feel and that's okay. And you know what I did? I told her, hey, you can feel the heaviness and you can feel the pain of that heaviness and that's okay. And we can laugh it, we can laugh it into the future. And you know what happened? I left that session 10 pounds lighter. And then I went and I drew finger paintings by the end of the day um, because my 12 year old self had never been accepted by anybody. And when I say reparenting, I mean, I reparented myself to accept my adolescent self. I'm the parent for my 12 year old self. And I literally shed so much weight in accepting all of the ignored pain that the person ever went through. And it sounds crazy. Some of you might be like, wow, this is crazy. It sounds crazy. But I left that session laughing and giggling. I went outside and I played hopscotch and it sounds so stupid, but I was like, I want to play hopscotch. <laughs> and that made me feel great. Because that person of me when I was 12, that no one ever heard when I was 12 and I was abused. And I was left alone in foster care to watch everyone else was never heard. And it was so nice for me to give myself that recognition. No matter how weird it sounds, but like, you can be your own parent. You can be your own fixture. You can be the person that solves your own problems. And I love that trippy experience, just like, literally 10 pounds lighter. <laughs> it was amazing. You have to be gentle with yourself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love that A A A K I F U. The the biggest light bulb that was turned on to me in my ketamine experience. So I'm doing ketamine tomorrow and then the day after I have integration and the next day. So I'm doing ketamine every day, every other day. 
But the biggest thing about ketamine that that uh, I've experienced is I've been through a lot of trauma. Um, the sexual assault started for me when I was five. The sexual assault started for, for me when I was five until I was seven. And again, from 12 until 17, 21. And then I entered porn. Um, so all I can say is I compartmentalized a lot of aspects of my persona. And when I compartmentalized my persona, I compartmentalized my age in those personas, right? So what you have to understand is when you compartmentalize yourself, you compartmentalize yourself at the age of that experience. So don't ever forget that you can be your own parent. Don't ever forget that you don't need somebody older than you to teach you how to live. Your older self knows how to heal your younger self. And you need to understand that and you need to let your older self guide you through your younger self's experience. So the best thing that's ever happened to me was my therapist told me, your older self is gonna reparent your younger self and your younger experiences. And that was like the best thing that's ever happened to me. It changed everything I looked at in my life. It's changed every outcome that I've ever perceived my life to be. It's been super great. Yeah. So I've been documenting it all. I'm gonna share it all with everyone when I'm done. I don't need any relationships. What I need is to, I need to understand myself. I need to fall in love with myself. I don't need any type of relationship that's not just loving myself. <laughs> It was a lesson, not a life sentence. That's how I learned how to forgive myself. Yeah. Cool. All right, I'm gonna pee and then we're gonna try and kill this guy. I think I have about eight more tries. I have eight more tries. After eight tries, I'm gonna try something else. But I'm sorry if I was a little like, bit of a downer if that was a little too much for you i'm sorry but if it wasn't too much for you i'm just gonna let you know that whatever you struggle with is something that can be fixed whatever you go through it's something that you can you can surpass whatever pain you have it can be something that you can praise in the future and if you hate yourself that hate turn into love and if you wish nothing but sadness, sorrow, and no existence, that can turn into something of magic. You just have to be here for it. And, I, and I've been in there, that experience in the lowest times of my life. So if you feel that way, I just want to give you a little bit of love because it can happen for you. It's happening for me. It will happen for you. 